About a quarter of all pumpkins in America actually come from California, especially Stanislaw and San Joaquin counties. The Perry say there's a good reason for that. This is the perfect place for pumpkins. You could call Art Perry a pumpkin king, since his family's been growing the golden crop in California for decades. They mainly grow traditional pumpkins, but you'll find just about every type and variety in their fields or warehouse. In the terminology of, of, a, of a pumpkin, you would call these jacks. We've got this to start out with as a mini, and then we got this one here, which is we call a weeby little. A mini, weeby little, and then we call this then we call this a trickster. So you see, you see. Oh my God! You got a whole see, family of pumpkins. Yeah. Here. So we got a little one, a little bit bigger one, a little bit bigger one, a little bit bigger one, and then we go to those. <laughs> so and there's some more in between. I mean, there's a lot of different sizes in between. It all started back in the 1920s when Art's grandfather emigrated from the Portuguese islands of Azores when he was 16 years old. His name was Delfino. He was a, the immigrant, he was from the Azor Islands. And, and when he came to this country, I knew my grandfather very well. We were very, very close. And he told me all the stories of life and how it all began and how he came and all that. And, and when he came to this country, he came here to better himself. And then he brought other family members in the, into this country as the years progressed. But he was a farmer and so he started farming and then, and then it just little by little it kept growing and growing. The company is called George Perry and Sons, named after Art's father. And today it's handling thousands of pounds of crops that are packed, stacked and delivered across California. Four generations of family members manage every aspect of the business, from new sales to processing orders, managing drivers and of course the warehouse, a non-stop hub of activity. Every now and then, 91-year-old George and his wife, Violet, come out of retirement and visit the company they nourished. Well, I, I think I got a beautiful thing here because I, you know, I, at my age, I, I was able to have my family all around me and watch all the business and see my sons and run the business and, and uh, you know, it gives me my life. He says the first few years in the business, the family barely made a profit. But fast forward to today and the company bearing his name is now one of the largest shippers, growers and handlers of pumpkins in California. George Perry and Sons delivers produce to almost every grocery chain you can think of. You know, the biggest enjoyment to it is we have a lot of people that work for us. And it, it does, it feels good to, to know that there's a lot of families that are supported out of this, this deal all the way down to workers. We've had workers that have been here for before I took over. And, uh, and, then it go and from there, it goes to somebody's house and they're enjoying it. Whether it's you know, looking at it, carving it, you know, it it's full, full circle. This is a banana squash and if you go into your stores, you won't see them like this. They'll be cut and a little and it's wrapped with cellophane <laughs> and uh, like in about a two pound package and, and that's banana squash. And then there's butternut squash, hundreds of pounds of them with a sweet nutty taste similar to pumpkin. And who could miss those boxes of spaghetti squash stacked 14 feet high. And this year, Charlotte, we really are fortunate because the squash is just a lot nicer. And a lot of times on spaghetti squash especially, we get scarring like from wind damage or the vines. But this year, look how pretty they are. Smooth as can Yeah, and a nice color. But this, this variety actually, we actually have a patent on this variety. Nice. Us and, and, a, and a seed company. So whenever you buy one of these, it doesn't make any difference who you're buying it from. It, it, it comes from our seed. <laughs> kind of fun. Oh, what do you call it's, it? They're just called white pumpkins? Yeah, well, yeah, there's different names for them. This one happens to be aluminum. Art studied agriculture at San Luis Obispo, but says his real knowledge came from years of working off the land. And of course, the, the number one thing was, you know, we, they taught us how to work. And we actually enjoyed it. I mean, to us, it wasn't work. It was, I think it's a way of life for us, you know. And from there, I just, just grew. He says, knowing they all work together, handling fresh California produce is an unbeatable feeling that leaves him feeling glowing and golden, kind of like those pumpkins. It's a happy crop. It's a crop that makes you feel good. 
It's a good feeling, crowd. In Manteca, Charlotte Fidipi for California Country TV.